Fighter jet laser weapons used to be the stuff of science fiction. Now they're closer to getting real. The U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory told CNN it hopes to demonstrate a fighter jet laser as soon as 2020. It really is a national tipping point where we see the technology evolving and maturing to the stage where it really can be used. This year, the Air Force, the Pentagon Research Arm DARPA and Lockheed Martin successfully tested a laser turret that would allow near supersonic planes to surround themselves with a 360 degree defensive laser shield. The Air Force lab has already built working lasers that can destroy aircraft from the ground, like this laser shoot down of an unmanned plane in 2009, which was a precision breakthrough. At sea, the US Navy already has an operational laser weapon aboard the USS Ponce. But hitting moving targets from a fighter jet flying hundreds of miles an hour is a lot harder. A successful laser weapon can burn through strong materials remarkably fast with virtual silence. Pilots could use it to defend against enemy planes, threats from the ground, and incoming missiles. No need to reload because ammunition is electrical power, not bullets. To be effective, fighter jet lasers will have to be smaller and lighter than ground-based lasers. They'll have to be accurate despite the G-forces, vibrations, and speed that come with air combat. In addition to fighters, the commander of Air Force Special Operations says he wants defensive high-energy lasers aboard huge AC-130J Ghost Rider gunships by 2020. Experts say it'll be the beginning of a new era as laser weapons are poised to exit science fiction and join missiles, guns, and bombs in the real world. Tom Patterson, CNN.